What exactly is a leading indicator? As someone that helps companies with their measurement systems and their performance management, um, I very often get asked, what is exactly is a leading indicator? And a leading indicator is basically one that points into the future, where you try to measure something that gives you an indication of how performance will look like in the future. So as a business, you want to have a mixture between leading and lagging indicators. So a lagging indicator is measuring the outcome, the end result. So in a company, for example, when you measure your revenue and your profit, that's an outcome. A leading indicator points into the future and you say, okay, what is this? Is this telling me anything about the future direction of the business? So many of my clients would say that things like customer loyalty and brand image is a better leading indicator for future performance because if I have a strong brand image and loyal customers, this will predict future performance and future revenue and profits much better than current financial performance, just looking at profits and revenue and projecting them into the future. So this whole idea of leading indicators came from economics, where they said, can we find indicators that will give us an early warning system that things might change or that predict the future. So things like mortgage default rates might indicate that the economy is going down. And those are the kind of early warning systems that I try to develop for companies. And so when we develop KPI systems for them, so finding the right key performance indicators for their business, we try to balance the leading and lagging indicators. So a good example was I was working for a uh, with, with a car company, a car manufacturer, and what they wanted to understand is obviously car sales and projecting them into the future. What we found is that a really good leading indicator for this would be consumer confidence. Because if consumer confidence drops, people basically stop buying new cars. And this company now simply tracks con consumer confidence and makes sure that they move into the same direction. So when consumer confidence starts to drop, they know that their car sales will go down and as soon as, as consumer confidence starts to pick up again, they know that people will start buying new cars. So this is exactly what you're trying to do, is you're trying to find ways to assess both leading and lagging indicators. And for me, this is a bit like driving a car where you basically have a dashboard that gives you some, some idea of where you are today, what's happening right now. But the lagging indicators are the ones that when you look into the rear view mirror, they tell you where you have been. So the profits and revenue of the past quarter and the past year. What you really want to do is you want to have something that looks out of the windshield where you say, okay, where are we going? What are indicators to tell me what is ahead? So you might want to look at channel shifts. So are, moving, are people moving from selling things um, in shops to online? They might want, you want to look at business model shifts and and all of these indicators then help you to make better decisions about your business. And that's the whole idea. You use KPIs to help you inform the decisions you make in your, in your business about what to do in the future. Having said this, there's no indicator that can give you certainty about the future because you might have great indicators that tell you you have a good brand image, customers are really happy with your products. Just think about Nokia in the 1980s. Everyone was really liking their phones. Nokia had a huge brand image and suddenly a new product comes, comes along like the iPhone and people make the switch. So when you have leading indicators, they hopefully give you an idea of where the future will be and what the future holds, but they can never give you certainty around indica about where the, the business is actually going.